So, ladies and gentlemen, what, what, madam? So, the claim is, madam, about the claims that Muslims make about Christianity. We're not talking about what the Quran says. We're talking about what Muslims say about Christianity. And we're saying that they have admitted over the last 20 years that they have spread lies about their own faith and about my faith. I'm a Christian. And if you've got a question about Christianity, I'm happy to talk to you about it. Would you like to ask, would you like to talk about Christianity? Have you got any questions? Yeah, I mean, why do you want to? I'm not a Muslim either. Oh, that's fine, I'm not saying you are. I want to get taken to 10 out. Did you get his offer? I'm not giving up. Get mad like that. So I'm not mad, madam. I'm just projecting my voice. Just pro there's a speaker's corner. As you can see, lots of people are projecting your voice. No, hold on one second, madam. Hold on one second. You're, you're, you're making... Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So, madam, the reality is that this park has been here for over a century. Muslims have been coming to this park for decades. And for decades and decades and decades, they've been saying things that are untrue about the Christian faith. Such as? that my Bible can't be trusted because it's been changed. Yeah. Such as saying that my Bible doesn't teach that Jesus Christ is God. Yeah. Such as saying that we Christians believe in three gods. Which is true. Which is not true. And you've just heard a Muslim say it is true. There you go. Exactly. And she's not even a Christian, bro. And she's better educated than you. So this is my point, madam. What you just witnessed with your own eyes is the thing that I'm challenging. That's a lie, though. And, and do you... Ag How can you support then, your idea? How can you support your idea? Okay. Why does if he you... say there are three gods? Because the thing is, madam, the reason why he says that I believe in three gods is because his Quran says I believe yeah, in yeah, three yeah. gods. Okay. So his Quran gets it wrong. And because his Quran gets it wrong, yeah, yeah, get it. he gets it wrong. Get it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah? Now that's a disproof of Islam. Because yeah. if a book that claims to be perfect gets something wrong, yeah. then... I yeah. Totally yeah, yeah, exactly. So this is my point. Uh, how can you change his point of view? Well, the thing is, the thing is, that we, the thing is, we, we have to wait for someone like him he wants to find the truth. When, when his heart is ready to, to be objective and to look into facts, then he will see that there's no evidence that Christians believe in three gods. And when he recognizes that there's no evidence that Christians believe in three gods, he will then be forced to recognize that his Quran was wrong when it says that we do believe in three gods. Maybe his pride wants more like Well, but I can't help his pride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only, it's only to sincere people that I yeah. can speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's people you like know? you, babe, with good faith, and then there's people that just yeah. hang around and just make like, yeah. side comments sure. in bad faith. Like, sure. like, like, yeah, yeah. Can I, can I, are, are, are all of these kids with you? Yeah, yeah, these are my, yeah. Oh, wonderful. No, 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 wonderful. I'm a teacher. Brother, brother. No, I'm a teacher. So brilliant. Are you all students? Or yeah, you're all... they are my students. Wonderful. So here's your opportunity to learn. If you'd like to learn anything about Christianity, now is your chance to ask any questions. You're Christians, aren't you? No, you're Christians. Some are, some aren't. But, but it's also an opportunity for you to learn as well, because now you're in Britain. So if you've got any questions, you could be... A... Well, what, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question then. What do you think about Jesus? Who is Jesus to you? Well, I am a Jew. Okay. I am a Jew. So, so it's Jesus, still a... Jesus was a, a, common, a commoner, let's say. A commoner? Yeah. 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 So he, Jesus was a commoner. Would you agree with me that Jesus is the most famous Jewish man that's ever lived? Absolutely. No, no doubt about that. Would it be fair to say that such a man is not a commoner? Of course not. Uh, Bit of a celebrity. You have already convinced me about yeah. that. Yeah. But let me ask you this question. You know the Torah, it teaches that in the age of the Messiah, that the Gentiles will go to Jerusalem to offer up sacrifices to the God of Israel. You're aware of it, right? Right. Are you aware that because of Jesus Christ, Gentiles go to Jerusalem now to offer up sacrifices of praise and thanks to Yahweh, to Hashem? Are you aware of that? So the messianic, messianic prophecy about Jesus has been fulfilled. Yeah, okay. yeah well, you know. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's another one. I'm sure you know, right? It, it, it says in... He said you too. He said oh, he's you more too. than welcome to join in the he's conversation. My, my nephew. He's more than welcome to join in the conversation. We are arguing about who Jesus Christ Discussing, madam. Discussing. Arguing, sorry. I'm Discussing. Arguing. I beg your pardon. Discussing. Discussing. We are not arguing. About who Jesus was, yeah. I, so, I, started saying, I started saying that he was a commoner. So, so I will not need to review the entire conversation. Yeah, yeah, we'll so just bring yeah, him in. Yeah, yeah. So my, my point to you is that Jesus is the greatest Jew that ever lived. And he's also the fulfillment of the messianic prophecy. And I'll give you an example. Do you not know in your own stories that it says that in the time of the Messiah, the Gentile will grab onto your cloak and say, take us to Jerusalem with you so that we can offer up sacrifices to the God of the Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Do you know about that? I it's in your Old Testament. Do you yeah, want me? I, I, I'll concede that I haven't read it all the way through. <laughs> now, I, I can show you if you want me to, or you can take my word for it. It's entirely up to you. Right. Well, my point to you is, for 2,000 years, because of Jesus Christ, Gentiles have been going to Jerusalem to worship the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to offer up a uh, prayer and sacrifice. Yeah. That's fine. I don't know, I don't know if that, does that prove that your claim is that Jesus... On his own, no. Okay. There must be other fulfillment of other prophecy. Anyway, I, I'm cool with different religious interpretations. I'm not a religious person, but I think... Are you that, not a religious person? No, but I think Fair the Jewish enough. claim is that... Uh, if, if well, don't Messiah speak. Come, don't speak for a belief that you don't have. Speak for your own belief. What are your beliefs? That I'm cool with whatever anyone wants to think, as long as it doesn't hurt anyone. Okay. So <laughs> let me let me challenge the idea. Okay. Let me challenge the idea by by saying that that idea is a harmful idea. Okay. Because I disagree strongly there. But well, sure. Because sure. because the reality is. When we, we, we approach the world like that, that anyone can have any belief, so long as it doesn't harm anyone else, there's a lot of, un, there's a lot of unpackaged stuff in that comment. Like someone, what about if someone has a belief that isn't, isn't what about if someone wants to support the reintroduction of slavery? That's unarguably hurting someone. They would argue it doesn't. They would argue it's perfectly fine. Right. We have systems. And... Uh, sorry, guys. We need to go to the shade. It's far too hot. It's far too hot. Do you want to go over there? Shall yeah. we go over there? Yeah, we have a lot of kids. Shall we? Yeah. Let's go into the shade then. Let's go and talk in the shade. So are you guys like on a school trip? Yeah, we are. Where from? Ah, ¿puedes hablar en español? Sí, yo puedo hablar en español, pero estoy no español. Estoy no español, pero hablo poco español. Vale. Y, uh, anyway, your teachers seem to have disappeared. That's fine. But if you let me let me just let me just tell you that that as a students English in Spain. Okay. Academy and they are students. Yeah. So, the, the, level. the level of English is a bit is a bit low. So let me let me direct my conversation to you guys, and then they can hear real time English. So you you stated you stated that any any belief system is okay, so long as it doesn't hurt anyone. Yeah. What about believing that abortion is okay? I think there is like systems of law that determine that in different places. But there's, there's a... But, but it's legally okay to abort a child. So that's hurting someone. Well, there's the, what is someone? Exactly, and that's my point. When you made the statement, when you made the statement that... Yeah, you picked, you picked like, I think in 99% of cases, what I said is valid. You picked the one thing that's still kind of up for debate. That's what, what about euthanasia? Okay. What about euthanasia? But in, in what? Give me context. So if someone who, if someone, if someone is in late stage terminal cancer, and they wish, and they wish to end their own life, it's a, yeah, who is that hurting? Themselves. That's their own choice. So in other words, my point is. They are deciding that they want to end their own life. 
So my point is the maxim that you've given doesn't stand up. It, it, it breaks down immediately. So what, when, when, we, when we think about rules for society, when we think about values for society, we have to think about values that are more concrete than, than forgive me for saying this, a soundbite, a catchphrase. Okay. And so you're proposing... So I'm proposing, in contrast to what you said, okay. uh, the sanctity of life. That sounds like a soundbite. Right, so <laughs> let's test the argument. The sanctity, the sanctity of human life says that abort... The question is if, that we should all have choices, not there is no right. one way or the other. There should be grace. So... It's not sure. always black or white, is So, it? So you, you're just going to have to jump in, bro, but let me just respond to this point and then if you want to say something. So the, the, the point is that choices in and of themselves, the replication of lots of choices, individual autonomy, Actually, I would argue to you, it, it, it's harmful. The idea, the idea of individual autonomy is harmful. I'll give you an example. If a man says, I identify as a woman, we've come to a conclusion in our society that because they've come to that conclusion, they should be able to walk into a woman's toilet, a woman's changing room, and get undressed right, in front of you, right and wrong? still having all what their about right genitalia. And what about right and wrong? Yeah, brother, wrong that, right. the, brother that's this kind, that we're having this kind of conversation. So my point to you is that simply saying that people should have the right to a choice doesn't always work. Who's With being certain hurt? certain limits, right? With no. certain limits. Yeah. Right, great. Within, within some limits. Great, Not so how do we decide the limits? Yeah, and who? And by who? Exactly. How do we decide the limits and by who? Because my point to you is that you're, you're simply saying, thing that we've, saying things like we've got laws and saying things like, you know, do whatever you want, but don't hurt people. Make sure that people have a choice. It, it, these are nice catchphrases, but when they work out in practice, they actually, they actually don't really address the real question society faces. And so I propose to you that it, these questions about where the boundary lines are is a too big a question for any of us. So you're saying... It's above our pay grade. Sure, so you're saying, okay, there's a, a set of books that have been written a while ago that kind of give us a set of rules and we're just going to take those as right instead of thinking about it and setting limits ourselves. You see, no, that's a characterization of Christianity. No, of any religion. No, well, it's a characterization of all religions, but therefore it's a characterization of Christianity. Because that isn't how Christianity works. So Christians have a set of values that we live out through virtue ethics. Virtue ethics is not about creating a list of rules about what you do and what you don't do. No, no. Virtue ethics is about forming the right, um, uh, the, uh, the right habits of mind. If you create the right habits of mind, you'll make the right choices. Sure. And that's how Christianity... Yes. As is the law. Values and virtue ethics. Right, yes. You're, you're claiming the law... I don't have the right to judge In me. some case... You don't have the right to judge me. ...puts some people... It but hurts some again, people, it helps some others. Right, I'm mean, wrong. In, in certain controversies... Madam, if you don't want to talk to him, you're allowed to say you don't want to talk. Yeah. It's up to you. I'm just saying, if you don't want the conversation, you're allowed to say. So, I'm saying any set of principles or values is going to benefit some people and hurt others, and claiming any one of them is right is... Right, but if you're going to say that, are you, are you trying to argue for moral relativism? Uh, that seems like a question that's far more loaded than I'm ready to I'll, I'll just, uh, I'm, having, I'm having a conversation with these guys, sir. Yeah, go on. You know where you are. Go on. I don't know the implications of saying yes to it, so I'm not going to say yes. Right, so do, do, you, do you reject the idea of moral relativism? Right, so if you're not rejecting it, are you saying that we should live by it? Uh, the same answer as before. What? what? Are you saying you don't know what to believe on this question? No, I'm saying... What, what, what is everything that moral relativism implies? So, are you, no, I'm, uh, I'm, asking, I'm asking you firstly, I'm asking you firstly your position. So are you for, against, or agnostic on the question of moral relativism? Of, the, of everyone being able to have their own morals? Yeah, yeah and that all morals are equally valid. With the caveat that they should not hurt us. Right, so you're, you're rejecting moral relativism then because I'm you're... I'm rejecting moral absolutism. Except the uh, absolutism that no one should be hurt. 
a grant for doing that as well. Yeah, but sense. but the thing is, the thing is, if if no one is to be hurt, does that mean dentists shouldn't perform dentistry? Does it hurt when you go to a dentist? Oh, do you want to argue about long versus short term benefit? Exactly. But my point is, my point is, th this 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 um, this 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 argument that you make. Si. Tu necesitas más. Uh, I don't know, we're, there's like 20 students here. Yeah, I don't, yeah. This is a fun we debate. To move on, sorry. No worries, we'll talk another Thank time. You. Have a good one. We'll talk Thank another time. Much. Thank you so much, God bless, take care. Bye bye. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Hasta luego.